Okay, so finally, let's go over what alcohol emergencies are. The most common one is alcohol poisoning, and we want to talk to you about some of the signs of what that is. So if there is a person who has been drinking quite heavily um, and you've been watching them and you can tell that they're getting very, very drunk, this is the top signs that you should look for to see um, if that person might be uh, about to have alcohol poisoning. So one, uh, if the person has passed out uh, and you're shaking them and they won't wake up, so you might smack them in the face a little bit, shake them a whole lot, splash water on them, and they're still just like out. And even if they just look up for a second but then go back to sleep, that's still not good. Unless they come fully conscious and say, hey, I'm fine, I'm, I'm just sleepy, um, it's usually not a good sign if they just cannot be woken up. Uh, Another thing to look for is if their skin is really cold, uh, clammy, if it's turned blue or pale, that's usually a, a sign of an alcohol emergency. Um, also, if their breathing has changed, if it's very slow or irregular, again, that's another sign of an alcohol emergency. And the number one sign uh, that is most commonly associated is if a person has thrown up while they are passed out and they have not even moved to get like out of the vomit. Uh, that means that they are so out of it that they can't even get away from their own vomit. And that's not good because they might not get it all the way out and it could get stuck in their throat and they aspirate and they die. So here is what you should do if any of those things are happening. Number one, do not leave that person alone. Don't just say, oh, she'll sleep it off. She'll be fine in the morning. Let's just leave her here. No, please do not leave that person. Um, call 911, call an RA, call somebody. Just get some help as soon as you can and don't leave them. Um, turn the person on their side so that if they are throwing up, uh, it, it will go out to the side of them. Make sure their airway is clear. Um, if their breathing has stopped, Either you perform CPR or you find someone who can um, because their life is in serious danger. So if any of those things are happening, those are the steps that you need to take to make sure that that person's life is saved. Um, and let me tell you, you do wanna stay there because if you leave them to sleep it off and then they end up dying, you're gonna feel really bad and you'd want someone to stay if it was you. So make sure that you do those things if you see someone is having an alcohol emergency.